Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see Alteryx architecture. Alteryx is a powerful tool with which we can do data analysis. We can connect to various different sources like for example SQL Server, the files, from Databricks, from Snowflake. So we can connect to various different data sources, blend the data and output the data so in the form that we require for our reporting need. So you can automate your Alteryx workflow as well. But to understand how Alteryx works, you need to understand how the architecture of Alteryx is. Alteryx has three components. So first is Alteryx Designer, second is Alteryx Server, and next is Alteryx Gallery. So Alteryx Designer is your Windows desktop tool. So whenever you create a workflow, on designer you need to run the workflow so there are two ways you can run the workflow so first is you can directly run on alteryx desktop designer locally or you can publish your workflow onto the server and it will be published in the gallery alteryx gallery so from the alteryx gallery you can kick off your workflow and it will uh, run on the server and you can schedule your workflow to run uh, daily weekly monthly etc so mm -hmm. let's see in detail uh, what is alteryx server so alteryx designer we already know it's a desktop tool uh, it's a user interface desktop tool uh, which we use to build our alteryx uh, workflows so Alteryx server is a component of Alteryx, which we use to share and collaborate the workflows with other users. So let's say in your organizations, you have other users and you want to collaborate with them using Alteryx. This is the way you, you can collaborate. You need to share your workflows. So Alteryx server provides centralized control over workflows, users and permissions. So the Alteryx admins, they can do a control of all the workflows, users and provide permissions. So who can have access to publish the workflows on the server, who cannot, who can connect to a particular data source or who cannot connect. So all these permissions are provided by Alteryx admins. So this Alteryx server is managed by Alteryx admins. So it will also provide the ability, ability to schedule and automate our workflows. So next is Alteryx Gallery. So you can think Alteryx Gallery is a <clears throat> uh, no, web interface for users who have Alteryx Designer. Let's say you have Alteryx Designer and you build the workflow. And if you want to publish the workflow, you need to use, uh, you need to have access to Alteryx Gallery. So you will publish your workflow to Alteryx Gallery. And after publishing your workflow to Alteryx Gallery, you can schedule the workflow. So once you schedule the workflow, the scheduling, uh, I mean, the uh, running the workflow based on the schedule that you have uh, provided is the job of Alteryx server. So Alteryx server manages all the uh, you know, resources that are there on the Alteryx gallery. So using Alteryx gallery, you can also share your workflows publicly. So let's say for example, uh, there are some people who have access to Alteryx gallery and you can publicly share your workflows to all of them or you can just restrict uh, to share with only few of the uh, people by creating a collections. So once you create a collection, you can grant permission uh, to the collection uh, for few of the folks you want to grant access and you can put your workflow in that particular collection. So that way only few users will have access to your workflows. So 
so also uh, once you publish uh, your Altrix workflow on the onto the Altrix gallery, uh, the Altrix gallery will version control your workflow. Let's say you publish one more version of your workflow after modifying this, um, after doing some changes, then it will publish uh, another version of your workflow. So if you want to revert back to your older version, you can do that in Altrix gallery. So let's see the architecture, the core architecture of Altrix server. So here, uh, let me take this pen. So here is your Altrix designer application. And here is your web interface for Altrix gallery users. And here is your Altrix server. So the Altrix server has four main components through which it runs all your workflows. So one is controller, so one is a worker, one is gallery, and one is database. So every Altrix server will have controller and multiple workers. So it will have multiple workers and one database. So all the workflows that you are publishing, like all the data related to workflows, users, and their schedules, everything is stored in this database. So we'll look at in detail uh, in the next slide. So let's see what is a, this an engine, Alrix engine, and uh, how these four components work together. So these components can be enabled on a single uh, server machine or it can be spread across multiple machines for better performance. For example, our, the Altrix server our architecture is uh, very flexible. So you can uh, install multiple instances of a gallery. So for example, on one server, uh, you can have uh, uh, for one Altrix server, you can have multiple gallery connections. Let's say one is a production gallery connection, one is a dev gallery connection, one is QA gallery connection. So that way you can segregate your load so that production gallery connection is made uh, separate with dev so that uh, so all the dev work will not be uh, I mean loaded into the production and production server will not be overloaded with the workflows that users are publishing onto it. And also worker components can be uh, spread across multiple machines on the Altrix server for better performance. So sometimes, uh, so, uh, sometimes you may see that Altrix server, uh, there will be a lot of users in the organizations and all of them publish their workflows onto the Altrix server and they schedule it onto the Altrix server for automation. So what happens is uh, if there are a lot of the workflows and the capacity of the server is full, then a lot of the workflows may go into queue. So that will delay the output uh, that users or business users are waiting so for this reason oh altrix admins can segregate the workers like for one altrix server they can assign two or three workers so that way even if we have lots of uh, workflows altrix server will be able to run the workflows by using other worker nodes so uh, next we'll see the controller so controller <clears throat> uh, what it does is um, so for one server we'll have one controller that is that will be active so control controller is like other so active server um, so whenever we connect to the Altrix gallery it should be available otherwise all our workflows will fail so next will be our passive instances of our uh, controller so this will be set up for failover 
purposes for example if our active controller goes down the passive controller should be up and running so that our workflows should be directed to the passive controller and it should not disturb uh, the daily uh, workflow run or jobs they of alteryx workflows so next we have a uh, user managed mongodb deployment so this is the persistence layer this can be scaled across multiple mongodb machines via replica sets so so whatever the data that we have like uh, workflow data and uh, user collections uh, users the connections all these are stored onto the mongodb so this is a backend of our Alteryx server. So Alteryx server has some data. So it gets the data from MongoDB. So here you can see one engine, one workflow. So when you run on the desktop, you will have only one Alteryx engine. So it will run the workflow on your desktop. So let's say you have lots of workflows. So what how you will run all these workflows how you will um, enable all of the users of your organizations to run the workflows at the same time so this is where the worker comes so on the server we'll have work workers so each workflow will be assigned one engine so when they run the workflows the worker will run uh, in a certain queue and execute the workflow and produce the result so next we'll see what is controller controller manages the whole alteryx environment and it delegates the workflows to be executed by the workers so it communicates with the workers also controller manages all the schedule of the workflows which desktop users publishes other uh, jobs so whenever uh run time like for example you have scheduled your workflow to run daily at 6 a.m whenever that time has hit it's the job of the controller to run your workflow at that particular time and if there are jobs waiting to run in the job queue the controller manages the queue and uh it orchestrate orchestrate uh, like it, it decide which job to run so based on the queue of service priority for example there are few jobs uh, which have been set to priority one so if there is a queue from that queue the controller will select the highest priority job to be run first and also based on worker tagging for example alteryx admins will tag the workers for example if you have few of the workflows that run more than 12 hours or it may take more than 24 hours so what tab uh, alteryx admins will do is they will tag a worker like for example uh, 15 hour job tag so if your workflow takes between 12 to 15 hours you can tag your workflow to that worker so that it will not be cancelled so job will not be cancelled if it runs more than 12 i mean in between 12 to 15 hours so based on uh queue of service priority and worker tagging the controller manages the job queue next so we have worker so what does worker do it executes alteryx workflow in a server environment using alteryx engine so just now we have seen how each workflow is assigned alteryx engine so this is uh, the job of the worker the same alteryx engine which executes workflows running in designer is used in the server environment on the worker so for example when you run a workflow on the alteryx desktop the same worker is used in the alteryx server environment and worker manages multiple alteryx engines 
which will allow multiple workflows to run concurrently. So this is uh, one of the way how worker runs. I mean, uh, this is one of the capabilities of workers to run the job concurrently. So next we have gallery. So as we are, as we have already discussed, it is a web based application for users and administrators to interact with the Alteryx server. So even the Alteryx designer users as well as the administrators use uses Alteryx gallery. Uh, but the Alteryx administrators will have extra permissions to uh, set up some extra settings like, like configurations, etc. So users can publish, schedule, share and execute workflows and they, with other users in the gallery. So they can share or publish, schedule, all those things. And so Alteryx Gallery, it will have an API uh, for end users. So for example, if end users want to connect to uh, some of the functions of Alteryx server, uh, if administrators provide them access, they'd be able to connect it. Or if administrators want to automate some Alteryx server functions like create new user, uh, delete user, so they will be able to do it using APIs. So next we'll see another component of Alteryx server is persistence. So which is a MongoDB database. So all the application data such as workflows schedules collections job results and job queue are all stored in the mongodb so it is the backend of our alteryx application so this can be scaled across multiple mongodb machines so you can scale these uh, database using a replica set okay this was in brief about the various components of alteryx server architecture so thanks for watching stay tuned until next time bye bye